find time to find him. He's wise to toss those things plenty far away. Even gas fellas need some shut eye from time to time. They get real cranky when you wake them up. In all this toil, Kid keeps coming back to an overwhelming question. Who else could have survived the calamity? So he didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. We could always see the stars, we just never could reach them, no matter how high we build. No place better than Trapper Shingle for learning to tread light and shoot straight. Trappers had to tread real carefully, or else take a nasty fall. They train themselves by clearing out the targets while not clearing out the floor. Any good trapper knows never to take a step till the time is right. Trappers couldn't get through without a few scrapes. A decent trapper wouldn't walk away empty-handed. Kid decides to keep working his aim and footwork on the shingle. Best time to pick a new spot is when swapping magazines.
To think a rickety place like the Shingle survived, and so little else did. In better days, the melting pot was sealed tighter than the skin on the squirt. Of all the plans to survive the calamity, it had to be stab weeds. Blast the things hurt like a broken heart. If there's a core, he figures it ought to be deeper down. Core stuck inside one of those fancy cages. Some of the stuff lying around is downright dangerous. He throws a switch. Now what could possibly go wrong? Quite a bit, as it turns out. The cage starts lifting from the core ever so slow. All Kid can do is wait. Shipments start falling in. Scores born bad. Some spring to the kid's defense. Judging by the movement of the cage, it's gonna take a little while. Don't take kindly to interlopers. Even some gas fellas take his corner. Birdie pop that needle for me. At this rate, maybe five more minutes, maybe thirty. Hard to tell. Squirts get real territorial around the core. Then a shipment of free samples shows up. It ain't all bad, as the kid finds some spices from the motherland, tax-free. One thing's for sure, that cage is awful heavy.
I still remember the look on his face after that one. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. Folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. A lot of things need fixing up in this world, and we can start right here. Kid packs a special surprise in every one of those arrows. Can't be too careful these days. Kid ain't had enough of the Breaker's Barracks. It takes practice, and a mighty strong bow helps too. I almost don't believe it when he says he passed the Breaker's Challenge. <laughs> Turns out those old bones still have some spark in them. That ought to make those fangs sink in nice and deep. A repeater goes with a hammer better than a box of nails. The dead welcome him with open arms. The calamity took everybody after all. Kid sees it plain, frozen faces all around. He don't much care to see him. Not like this. These folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. Someone who ain't like Mr. Beckley and his kindly wife. It was someone. Kid sees him there again, in the flesh. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop, no matter what. He's got so many questions after all.
just ain't got time for answers. The Tundra Brothers didn't make it. They never saw what it was like beyond the walls. Nor did the Bird Boy didn't make it. The Jawsons, they didn't make it. Grady Sr., Grady Jr., they didn't make it. But him, he survived. Kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. Just think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? The core survived as well.